Hello, my name is Chris and today I'd like to talk to you if you are quitting or have quit smoking and are considering picking up a cigarette. I'd like to remind you very gently that you don't need that cigarette. You don't need to smoke. And you don't need that cigarette by any definition of the term to need. You don't need that cigarette in the sense that human beings don't need nicotine. We need food, we need water, we need shelter, we need love, but we don't need nicotine. I can go and visit my beautiful 18 month old niece and watch her running around and playing without care in the world. And occasionally she'll cry and she'll cry because she's hungry she'll cry maybe because she's tired and needs a nap she'll cry because she needs any one of her, her basic human needs to be met but she never cries for nicotine she never cries for a cigarette because that isn't one of her basic human needs she can happily go from one end of the day to the next without even considering that she might need a cigarette because it's just not in our nature to need it. And at some point, some point in your life, you were exactly the same. You went from one end of the day to the next without even considering cigarettes, without even considering the thought that you might need one because you don't and that time might have been many years ago or it might have only been a few years ago but there was definitely a time when you were a non-smoker you weren't born a smoker you had to learn to become one and that learning process was kind of tough, right? For, not necessarily for everyone, but for many people, learning to become a smoker is difficult at first because the body rejects all the poison that we're putting into our bodies. When we try and smoke a cigarette for the first time, many of us cough, many of us really struggle. And we have to wear ourselves down. We have to beat our own bodies into submission. It's a huge act of self-sabotage to learn how to be a smoker. And we have to learn to come to rely on cigarettes. And we have to learn this belief that we need cigarettes, even though that belief isn't true and just as you had to learn to become a smoker when you quit what you're doing is learning to become a non-smoker quitting smoking is a process of unlearning learning and relearning it's a process of unlearning all those false beliefs and ideas that we told ourselves about cigarettes and our relationship to them it's about unlearning this idea that we need them. It's about learning how to go from one end of our day to the next without a cigarette. And it's about relearning how to be that version of ourselves that doesn't even think about smoking. Because that version of us definitely does exist. We weren't born with cigarettes in our hands. So at some point in our lives, we were non-smokers. You were a non-smoker. And you were able to get from one end of the day to the next without a cigarette. And it doesn't necessarily mean to say that that day was all sunshine and rainbows. For some people, it might have been a very pleasant, happy life. For some people, it might still have been stressful, tough and difficult, you still got through without a cigarette. 
So now you're learning, relearning to do that again. Pick it, it's like if you, you know, a skill that you haven't used for years, but you can pick it back up again. And just like learning to be a smoker was tough at first, so too can learning once again to be a non-smoker. And we might not get it perfectly the first time out. Think about when you learn to drive. I don't think anybody turns up for their first driving lesson and is automatically an amazing driver. The same with learning to be a non-smoker. Very few people, as of, or very few of us, are amazing at it the first time out. Sometimes we might slip into those ideas of I want, I need, I'm going to have a cigarette. And that's okay, it's okay to have those thoughts, it's okay to have those urges because it's part of the learning process. Quitting smoking isn't about learning how not to have thoughts and urges, it's about how to move forward in the direction of being a non-smoker despite them. It's about learning how to acknowledge them and move past them like you're doing now because you decided to watch this video instead. So learning this process can be stressful and it can be uncomfortable and it can be unpleasant. And that's when you say, well, this, this is why I need the cigarette. I need the cigarette because this is uncomfortable, stressful and unpleasant and I need that to go away. And that is understandable. But you still don't need a cigarette. In fact, I'm going to question whether you even want a cigarette. Let me ask you, is the thing that you really want a cigarette or is it an end to the discomfort, the unpleasantness and the stress that you're currently feeling or were currently feeling? I'm going to imagine for many people, it isn't a cigarette that you want. It's an end to the stress and the uncomfortableness and the unpleasantness. And the good news is that there are a million and one better ways to end that stress and uncomfortableness without cigarettes, without having to harm ourselves anymore. We no longer need to react to feeling bad by doing things that are going to harm us even more. There are a million and one better ways to deal with what we're feeling. And you know what they are. You know what works for you to help you through whatever you're going through without a cigarette. You can remember a time when you were happy, when you were relaxed, when you just got through a situation and didn't have a cigarette in your hand. Do that. And if you don't know what those things are and if you can't remember those times, that's even more exciting. It's exciting because this is an opportunity to go out and work out what those things are. It's an opportunity to try a whole range of things and see what feels good for you. It's an opportunity to maybe go the traditional route of like yoga and meditation or things like that. It's an opportunity to try out a sport or exercise or a creative project or simply to put on your favourite music and dance around the room and see how that makes you feel. And see if maybe, just maybe, that makes you feel better than having any amount of cigarettes ever could. And... And you don't need that cigarette because you no longer need to harm yourself. You no longer need to go through that act of self-sabotage. I feel bad, so what I'm going to do is make myself feel worse by injecting myself full of poison. You no longer need to do that because you deserve all of the health and the happiness and the freedom and the joy that comes with being a non-smoker. 
And this is true even if you don't believe it right now. If you are dealing with low self-esteem, with low self-worth, with depression, you may not feel very good about yourself and who you are and may not even believe that you're worthy of happiness, worthy of freedom, worthy of being healthy. At least on the conscious level, but somewhere within you, there is a part of you that does believe that you're worthy. And I know this, because that is the part of you that when you were thinking about having a cigarette, said, actually, I'm going to go and watch a video. That is the part of you that thought twice about having a cigarette and made a different decision, even if only for five, ten minutes. That is the part of you that does believe that you're worthy. That is the part of you that means that you get up and you invest your time and your energy going onto YouTube, looking up videos about quitting smoking of all the billions of possible things you could be doing with your time right now, some part of you made you come and watch this video because it believes that you can and you will and that you deserve to quit smoking. That is the part of you that will be nourished along this quit smoking journey. That is the part of you that will grow along your quit smoking journey. That is the part of you that is going to help you get through this process and become that non-smoker. Because you can and you will and you deserve to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's just given you something to think about. If you like this video, I have loads more quit smoking videos on my channel. Or I also have my book. It is called Quit Smoking and Be Happy, available in print and ebook form. The links for all that are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.